Michael Haviland Mosquito was the first two-engine machine to land on an aircraft carrier. This is that touchdown on Indefatigable in March 1944. It had been equipped for deck landing and proved quite satisfactory. Rockets were also fitted to decrease the takeoff run. The rocket motors are jettisoned when all burnt. This picture shows the Mosquito doing crash barrier tests in HMS Triumph. The film is slowed down. appearances, wooden constructed aeroplanes would just seem to be unsuitable for this treatment. An historical moment, the last landing of the swordfish on HMS Ocean during 1945. This is the only type of TSR machine in service during the Second World War, served the fleet well despite the fact that towards the end of its time it was completely outclassed as regards speed and performance. This same year, we see the first landing of a jet aircraft on the light fleet carrier Ocean. The aircraft is the de Havilland Vampire, and the pilot, Lieutenant Commander Brown, Winkle to his friends. The Vampire was de Havilland's first jet aircraft, and the first aircraft in Britain and America to exceed easily 500 miles per hour. The event is the cause of interest. Some very considerable interest. and it remained that way during that first trial. There it is, coming up from below, still surrounded and commanding attention. The pilot can be seen in the foreground without the helmet. 